Okay, interview with Lita, and I am interviewing... Ann Mitchell, Human Resources Manager. Lamont Ingram, Founder, President, CEO. And Carver Cat, the Operations Manager. Okay, uh, what does Lito stand for? Lito stands for Lamont Ingram Developmental Organization for At-Risk Children. Okay. Uh, it's a 501c3 organization that was established in 2008. Okay. What's the new program that you have going on? The new program that I have right now, uh, we were licensed in 2010 as a level two uh, group home for girls, uh, which is uh, it's a group home pretty much. Uh, we were here, we were recently licensed as a level three uh, Department of Mental Health, uh, Mental Health and Residential Treatment Facility. Uh, we just acquired our alcohol and drug license uh, two weeks ago. Uh, we stand now as the only all-girls home in Tennessee at this time and the only all-girls home at this time and we serve eight youth at one particular time. Okay and I see you have your other staff members here with you. Miss Ann, what do you do here at Lido? Well I do the personnel information, uh, keep up with personnel records, make sure that everything's in compliance with both state and federal regulations, that all paperwork is done. Also, I had set up trainings for new employees and orientation and uh, all of that and give Mr. Ingram whatever support he needs. Are you satisfied with the way things at Little are going so far? I'm really excited. I am, I am truly excited because I've been here as things got started and knowing where we came from and where we are today is just amazing. It's really amazing. So we're excited that we're just moving forward. Uh, we've been able to accomplish some things that people have told us we couldn't do. Uh, you can't do this. You won't be able to get that and all this and everything just, just fell in place. Okay. And what do you do here at Lido? Uh, I'm Carver Cathy. I'm the operations manager, and, and I oversee all the facility uh, activities that go on as far as any licensing that Mr. Ingram has uh, that he needs, uh, making sure that our intake uh, procedures are taken care of, making sure the staffing is okay, uh, making sure that any of the requirements that the state requires us to have are carried out and just the normal facility operations. Okay, so how do you feel about the way Lido has been uh, oh, going I'm, so far? I'm totally excited about it. it the way everything's progressing, uh, the way the staff is coming along, the way that we're getting a response from the community, everything is going great right now. Okay. And Mr. Ingram, are you satisfied with the way things are going at Lido at the moment? Mm -hmm. And what do you hope for, um, what kind of things do you hope for Lido in the future? I am very excited about Little at this time. Um, I always have been excited, and I believe God has sent me some people that are really here for the better interest, not just for me, but for the company and for the young ladies that come to these doors. I believe that the staff here hold the girls dear to their heart, and to be able to have a Christian organization like this is very vital in this community. Little is not based on money. Little is based on helping and giving back to the community because we all know what you reap, what you sow. So we're sowing into these young girls' lives and that we're going to have to reap that. You know, and God is going to bless us for doing that. Miss Ann has been here and been through it with me. Uh, she is like, I consider her like the backbone almost when it comes to getting things done, paperwork and all. Anything I need, she would go home. If she couldn't come, she would be at home doing it. She's one of those people that you can really, really depend on. I don't care if she's sick, she, she can do it. And she's been through a lot. And to still, and to still be here means a lot. Mr. Carver, he, you know, he's been here. I mean, I appreciate him, you know, he, been here in the last two days, he's got these staff together to where they're like on point. And I, and I look at that. I'm one of those perfectionist like type people. 
I, I expect things to run smooth. If they're not running smooth, I, mean, I believe that what if somebody comes in here and sees what's going on? What if I wanted to run like it's supposed to? Because if you run like it's supposed to, that means everybody's going to be okay. Um, and for the future, I see Little within the next couple of months open up a boys' home. Um, in the next couple of months, open up a boys' home. The license we have now, we're at the top level of credentialing as far as being levels. You have a level one, now you have foster home, level one, level two, and you have a level three, then you have a level four, which is secure lockup, tab for Wilder. We're right below that. Um, there are no private owned level fours, and we're right there at the top. We have all the license that requires of any facility. New Villages has a mental health and alcohol and drug. Little has a mental health and alcohol and drug. Madison Oaks has a uh, mental health and alcohol and drug. Most facilities only have one. To come from November just having a level two license within six to seven months to obtain that is unthinkable, but in God's eyes, it's possible. I believe God wants us, he will give you a vision but it's up to you to take the strides with it. He'll give it to you, but are you prepared to go through the wind and the water and the storms? If he gave it to you, it's gonna happen, but you have to be tested in the midst of it. But it's, it's something you have to go through. It's already gave to you, but you have to go through But he can get some of those rough edges off of you. And that's what he's done for me. It didn't happen overnight. I've been through a lot. It did not happen overnight. And it took some pain, some tears, some walking around these halls crying sometimes, wondering why had God deserted me when in fact he hasn't. When in fact all he was showing me what those girls feel when they come in here, when they feel like somebody has deserted them. But he has put us in position to be here to say they may feel deserted, but show them that there's, there's, there's still hope. As the program is called Second Chance, show them there's a second chance. And you have to show them that. And the only way you can show them that is show them the love of God. That's the only way. Okay. Yeah. Where is uh, Little located? And do y'all have like a website? Little is located 437 Riverside Drive, Jackson, Tennessee, 38301. Our website is www.lamontingram.org. Um, if you want to email us, it's Lido, it's L-I-D-O dot youth, Y-O-U-T-H, at gmail dot com. Um, do you have a contact phone number? And if, um, do you have a contact phone number, first of all? Contact phone numbers are 731-215-2345. And our fax number is 731-215-2395. Um, I have a question. Where where do the girls come from that you recent that you have? The so girls far? come from all over Tennessee. They can either be non custodial or custodial. Um, non custodial means the court system sends them. Um, they've been into a lot of trouble, unruly, and they get referred here by the courts. Uh, custodial means they're already in state custody, which means that people like Centerstone, Youth Village will refer them to us as in a subcontract and we would take them on you know that way and we provide certain like individual counseling uh, group therapy family counseling we have a structured schedule uh, independent living skills uh, we provide everything um, the only thing we ask the child to do is to try uh, since you've been open <clears throat> have any of the girls completed the program Yes, we have two girls, three girls, matter of fact, that have completed the program. Those three girls now are still in aftercare and are doing excellent as our case workers are still working with them. And I'm pleased with their behavior and the process. I know it's going to be a, a continuous road for them, but just to see them strive and try and not go backwards, it really touches my heart. So have you had more to succeed than to fail? More to succeed. Really, I got 100% rating right now. Okay. So. Any last comments y'all want to make? Uh, 
Uh, nothing other than, like I said, we're just excited about the progress and excited about what we're going to be doing in the community. And uh, we need everyone's prayers and and uh, help, support, whatever, you know. And we invite people to come, you know, and uh, see the facility and talk with us about possibly partnering with us and uh, giving us their support. So who would they contact if they want to make a donation or contribution? It would still be the same address, Little, at that address. Um, if they want to make a donation, um, we have bank accounts at First South Bank of Jackson um, and also Clayton Bank. Okay. Um, I think there is a location out south and one out north for the First South Bank and the Clayton Bank. That's in Jackson, Tennessee. That's in Jackson, Tennessee, that's correct. Um, all donations are, five, we are a 501c3 organization, so whatever you do is tax deductible and it will go towards helping this community and helping these girls in whatever programs, you know, that we see they need to have. Um, we're just, we're just looking for help. Um, we're here. Um, we're just here in the community. We want to be a symbol for this community. Um, we want to be a symbol for people to look to and say, okay, little, that's a place where we can go and get help and we know we can. That's what we that's what we want to be. We want to be a symbol for this for Jackson, Tennessee, West Tennessee period. That people say, oh man, let out. As soon as you walk in that building, I can feel. I feel at home. I feel that's 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 what people have told us about Little. Department of Children's Service themselves, I had a core leadership meeting probably about two or three months ago. And they told me I was the face of young people because of what I had been through. And I was going through a hard time then. And they told me not to give up because if God gave it to you, he's going to provide for you. As the saying say, he's already made provision for the vision. All you got to do is just hold fast and stand still. Okay. This is Shanika Douglas here with Lamont Ingram and Mitchell and, Mitchell and, Carver, Kathy. and Carver Kathy signing out.